360 Reality Audio is a new and immersive musical experience that uses Sony's object-based 360 spatial sound technology. This video is a high-level overview of the plugin's key functionality designed to get you started using the 360 Reality Audio Creative Suite. To purchase and download the 360 Reality Audio Creative Suite plugin, visit 360RA.com. Be sure to check the frequently asked questions for the system requirements and supported DAWs. Currently Ableton and Pro Tools are the only DAWs that are supported, but there are more coming. The first thing you'll do is create an account. Choose your download according to the operating system that you run. Now we proceed to installation. The 360 Reality Audio Creative Suite plugin is fairly simple. It is possible to set it for different speaker layouts, including the preferred 13.0. For the purpose of this video and most users, we'll be using headphone mode. To put the plugin in headphone mode, click the headphone icon here. When we're in headphone mode, it overrides any speaker settings. Unless you have the preferred 13.0 speaker array, the best way to experience 360 reality audio is with headphones. To activate the plugin, click the power icon at the top of the screen. Once you've turned on the plugin, all audio will be rendered through the 360 reality audio creative suite plugin. On the right side of the screen, we have a list of objects. In this session, we have 26 stereo tracks. Each stereo track is represented by two spheres that we call objects. We're able to move these objects in 360 space like this. Here in the objects list, if you click here, you see both of your mono stems and your stereo stem. If you click this lock icon, you're able to move each side of your stereo track independently. If you lock the icon, they'll move together. At the bottom right, the properties of the selected object are displayed. These are the properties of the selected object. Object name, color, gain, azimuth, elevation, and width. Each of these properties can be edited. By clicking this expand button in the top right of the screen, you can switch to focus view. In focus view, you have mixer-like gain control of each object. You can also control other parameters right on the channel. Both the compact view and focus view have two viewports with interchangeable view angles. If you click this drop-down menu, you can see the different view angle options. When in perspective mode, you can also click and move the sphere like this. By clicking on the eye icon, we display the names of each object. When the objects appear in the panner window, they appear stacked on top of one another. But all you have to do is click them and drag them around the sphere. It's time to start a 360 immersive audio mix session. First, we open our DAW. In this case, I'm using Pro Tools. Make sure to set your sample rate to 48K and your bit depth to 24-bit. Now that we've created our dedicated 360RA mix session, it's time to import our stems. These stems were created in a separate session where they were mixed in stereo. It's always a great idea to organize your stems the way you want to see them in your mix. When preparing your stems for a 360 reality audio mix, it's best to break out individual instruments as much as possible. Here you'll notice that the drums are broken out into individual elements like kick, snare, hi-hat, etc. This gives you more control while mixing in an immersive environment. As you'll see later, it's best to have as many isolated elements as possible. It's very advantageous to bounce separate stems for your time-based effects like delays and reverbs. That way you can spread them around the sphere to create a more immersive experience. It's also important to note that before creating this session, these stems were mastered in a separate session to make sure that they were as loud as possible going into the mix. Here we have 26 stereo stems which will equal 52 objects. 
Objects are how we refer to audio tracks once they enter the 360 sphere. Notice in this session, there are individual guitar reverbs, vocal reverbs, drum reverbs, etc., each broken out on different tracks. Now that we have our stems prepared and imported, let's make a master fader. On the master fader, I'm going to insert the first instance of the 360 Reality Audio Creative Suite plugin. When the 360 Reality Audio Creative Suite plugin is inserted on the master track, you'll receive this dialog. Is this plugin on your master track? Click yes it is. Now that you've chosen this instance as your master output, you can close this window. Now you'll insert the 360 Reality Audio Creative Suite plugin on every track. We place the plugin on the last possible insert slot on our track. It's important to note that all audio information will be rendered through the 360 RA plugin, not through the master track of your DAW. This is why we put the 360 RA plugin on the last possible insert slot of our track, because any effects plugin that we want to use on the track must be placed before the 360 Racks plugin. Any effect placed after the 360 plugin in the chain will not be heard. There are two directional parameters that we can manipulate using the 360 Racks plugin. One is called azimuth, the other, elevation. Azimuth refers to horizontal movement. Here's an example. Elevation is the vertical parameter. By automating azimuth and elevation, you can move an object to any location around the sphere. To add automation to a specific object, you have to open the plugin instance that's on the channel itself. To add automation, click here. To be able to place an object anywhere around the sphere, you'll need both azimuth and elevation automation. Add them both to your track like this. Now we can automate our object's position using our DAWs automation features. First, let's automate azimuth. It's important to note that by keeping your stems on the grid, it's easier to automate. Let's watch and listen to playback. Notice how this automation curve allows the Kungas to travel around the sphere. Now, let's add elevation and create a swirl. You can also write automation using write mode. Activate write mode in your DAW. Play the track and manipulate the object manually to write automation. Let's see that back. When placing objects in the 360 spherical space, it's good to go one object at a time and find the places in the sphere that you think they sound pleasing.
Once you have your objects in roughly the right fields, then you can start automating and getting creative. Certain objects, like kick drums, snares, and vocals, tend to sound better centered, while others, like delays, dubs, and synths, sound really cool swirling around the sphere. Just like in any other mix or musical endeavor, use your ears. It's really up to you. Be creative, have fun, and enjoy this immersive new tool. Thanks for watching this overview of the 360 Reality Audio Creative Suite. We hope you enjoy the immersive experience of mixing in 360 Reality Audio.